Hey guys, and welcome back to That LP Show. The name of the game is Earthbound for the Super NES. So, if we're gonna get into Tucson, we gotta go through the Onette Police Department first. Alright, these cops, they have two attacks. They have a regular chop, and they have a crushing chop. Best way to deal with these guys is to just keep on bashing them, and ooh... That was actually very easy, and I was about to say that uh, this little boss gauntlet right here could actually be one of the toughest fights in the entire game, considering how uh, low, uh, how underpowered you are early on in the game. Uh, so yeah, just keep bashing them. If your uh, HP dips below 40, then just go ahead and use a hamburger. Try to avoid using life up. Uh, use rocking on them only in the biggest of emergencies, because we want to try to conserve that. You're tough. You should join the police force. Your average policeman is stronger than any superhero. Oh, you won. Don't let the mayor's compliments give you a big head. Everybody in this game has a big head. Bring it on, fat boy. Hey! Once again took him down with a single smash attack. That'll teach you to call me fat. Let's do this again sometime. Next time, I'll take you out with my nuclear suplex attack. <laughs> it's nuclear, stupid. The R is silent. Come on, I'm going to take you apart right here, right now, baby. Ugh, I lost. That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm going to call for my boss. Yeah, you better run. There is no way I can beat you in a straight competition, so... Get ready for my Super Ultra Mambo Tango Foxtrot Martial Arts. Okay, now we're going up against Captain Strong himself. I am not taking any chances here. I'm going to immediately start by using Life Up. He has a few uh, He has a few moves. He can lose his temper and his offense goes uh, up. Uh, he can chop at you, which is his regular attack. He also has a submission hold, which can do massive amounts of damage if you're not careful. So you want to keep your HP at least above 50. And we're not messing around with this guy. We have enough PP. We're going to go with Rockin' all the way. And two or three attacks with PSI Rockin' should be enough to take him out. We shouldn't have to worry about healing. And he's down. Oh, Vitality up by two. And that means our HP got a big boost as well. And PP only went up by one. By one. Yeah, that's the way those things work. And we realize the power of Shield Alpha. That'll actually... Uh, That'll actually uh, reduce physical damage that we take by 50%. I didn't think you would do so well against the mighty Onet police force. You want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on for a sec. I'll radio my staff and give them the word. Strong here. Do you read me? Hey, it's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen. A kid named Ness will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that. Don't ask me why, just do it. That's an order. Strong out. Well, kid, I'm not going to question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. All right, so you might be wondering, what the hell did they do that for? Well, just remember that Gygus is controlling the evil in people's minds. We just came from Giant Step, so that means Gygus knows that we're going to collect the eight melodies, and he sent the Onet police to stop us. Uh, they, it was totally against their will. Why are you asking about a driver's license? You're way too young to, be even, to even think about getting behind the wheel, you little pest. What is your issue? I've been playing Earthbound lately. I'm having a tough time. Eh, watch my walkthrough. It might help. And what do you got to say? Well, the riot's over. Now I can move on to parking enforcement. Hooray! Life is good. Dum dee dee dee. Okay. Oh yeah, so I made that little comment about my vitality and HP. I'm not sure if I explained this before, but if you look over to the right side of the screen there, uh, you look at your different stats. You got offense, defense, speed, guts. I've, of course, I've explained guts already. Vitality. Now, the way vitality works is the higher it is, the the more HP gain you uh, the the higher your HP gain 
during uh, subsequent levels. So you saw in that last battle, my vitality went up too. So I got a significant hit point increase by 26. Uh, my psychic points only went up by one. That's where IQ comes in. If you see my IQ right there, that works the same as vitality. Uh, whenever you gain IQ, you get a significant boost in psychic points during your subsequent playthroughs. Or not playthroughs, but during your subsequent level ups. We have a character later on in the game who doesn't use psychic points. However, uh, IQ is also very important for that character. I'll explain that when it becomes pertinent. Uh, we're still quite a ways away from having to worry about anything like that. All right, how much money do I have? 18? I want to sleep at the hotel real quick just to give myself a quick heal up before moving on. Eh, yeah, I'll withdraw 20. That ought to be good. Ness? 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 I'm a friend who you have never met before. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula. Okay, that was weird. Looks like we got a little bit of a psychic message while we were sleeping. That's one of the big reasons I wanted to sleep there, to show that off. Good morning. Your free copy of the morning newspaper. Here's today's headlines in the Onet Times. Many citizens of Onet suffer due to crooked real estate agents. Okay, so yeah, whenever you sleep at a hotel, uh, you catch up on some current events. All right, with the road to Tucson open, let's head south. Hey, aren't you Ness? Well, I got the okay from Chief Strong to let you through. Take care of yourself. Is it Chief Strong or Captain Strong? I don't know too much about police forces, but I'm pretty sure Chief and Captain are two different positions. You're doing well. Keep it up. The town map can check out the library. The, the town map can be checked out at the library. You can also use the map in Tucson. It's really useful. All right. Oh, got some bugs running away from me. Those are actually black antoids. We're not going to worry about them. Let's come into this house. I live rent-free in the mouse's house. The mice are known as exit mice. They are very kind, and boy, are they fast. I really love these guys. Okay, let's talk to Daddy Mouse right here. Please take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit at an exit if you're lost in a maze. Will you take one of my sons along? Hell yeah, he's a tough boy. You can treat him as one of your items. And we got an exit mouse. And the way these things work is uh, when you're in a dungeon or something, um, you can use it to immediately go back to the entrance so you can make a quick escape. It's a lot like the warp spell in Final Fantasy. Or, um, uh, let's see current generation what is that thing in pokemon that lets you escape from a dungeon it's some sort of rope i don't play a lot of pokemon fun fact though how laboratories the company who developed earthbound they actually uh later on became creatures inc who uh you may know as one of the developers for pokemon so you may notice certain similarities anyway this is a new enemy right here this is the rambling evil mushroom he's weak to fire which we don't have right now he can do a basic attack but he has one very annoying attack he can scatter some spores and mushroomize you and that can be very annoying let's hope that doesn't happen to us and he went down pretty easy yeah you don't want to get mushroomized Yeah, because whenever you get mushroom eyes, I think I explained this earlier, a mushroom appears on your head, and my OCD is kicking in. I gotta eat a hamburger so I can open up this present box and take this hamburger. Uh, yeah, so... Whenever you get mushroomized, uh, you could uh, miss a lot in battle. You can get confused and attack yourself or one of your allies. Uh, and even worse, when you're walking around on the on the world map, uh, you, it'll reverse your controllers and screw them all up. So that that can be pretty annoying as well.
That was a rambling evil mushroom and two black antoids. I wasn't taking any chances. I used PSI rocket and took them out in one turn. Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? Yeah, sure, why not? Tucson has a modern, clean hotel. There is a hospital and a wonderful chaos theater. There is the Polestar Preschool and a nice bus station. If you're curious, you might want to check out Berglund Park. It's exciting. East of the town, you find the peaceful Rest Valley. On the other side of the valley is Happy Happy Village. Sounds happy. There's also a pizza parlor. Do you want to know anything else? Well, T, I don't know anything else. I'm surprised you know what you do know, Blondie. All right. Hey, a cycle shop. Oh, boy. Here he comes. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Harry Dix! Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Let's see what this cycle shop is all about. Uh, yep. Get ready these hamburgers. This is the cycle shop. Punk sure. Bicycles are much more, are so much more convenient, or are so much fun and so, are so convenient. I'm having a hard time reading today. It's a lot faster than walking. You'll be really popular with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? Sure. Unfortunately, we don't have any more bikes for sale. We only have rentals. Do you want to rent one? Okay. I really like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what. I'll let you borrow a bike for free. Excellent. You know that two people can't ride on one bicycle. So, of course... Three or four people on a bike would be impossible. Did you also know that you can't ride with a, ride a bike with anything following you? Teddy bears, for example. Carrying a teddy bear and riding is impossible for you. And don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. So we're really limited, and we'll get into that teddy bear thing in a little bit. But let's get on that bicycle and see what it's all about. All right, we can get on the bicycle, and as you can see... It's really fast. Ness looks all happy with his mouth gaping wide open while riding around. We get some cheery music, and if we press the R button, we can ring a little bell on it. So, yeah, that's a lot of fun. Uh, unfortunately, we're very limited to this. Uh, we'll never be able to use a bicycle again once we start getting party members. And if we have that teddy bear thing that that guy was talking about, we're not going to be able to use it uh, either. So, uh, yeah, let's just get off the bike. I see you're young but have some adventures. I think that Paula would be a good friend for you. Really? I saw some weird bad guy following Paula. This guy gives me the creeps. Thanks, Mr. T. I'll look out for that. Let's check out the department store. And I want to withdraw about... Hmm. Uh, just to be sure, I'm going to say $600. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Do you want to buy a ticket for the one Way 5 show? Sure, sounds like fun. The main floor and balcony seats are sold out. We only have box seats, which cost $20. Would that be okay? Oh, right. Oh, wait. The box seats sold out a long time ago. Oops, my mistake. The box seats are the most popular. Well, what a waste of time. Would you like to return something? Okay, this is pretty much the item return, kind of like in front of Walmart where they treat you like shit. Uh, you can sell stuff here. That's pretty much all there is to it. This department store isn't crowded. I like that. I always feel much better after hearing my mom's voice over the phone. I was really homesick recently, and my mom cheered me right up. You should call your mom sometime. Believe me, those melancholic, those melancholy feelings would be gone before you know it. Yeah, we'll get into homesickness and calling mom a little later. I heard a meteorite crashed onto a hilltop in Onet. That must have been exciting. Well, it did start this game. I think that my grandchild is older than you. He's a famous inventor. He lives here, and people call him Orange Kid. He seems to be popular with the girls because he's groovy? Orange Kid? He's he's an orange kid? Is he from Jersey Shore? Yum, yum, I'm eating a skip sandwich. It makes you want to start skipping. I saw it on a TV ad, and I just had to try one. I'll bet I can really move after eating this. Okay, she talks about those. We got a bakery, a burger joint...
And I want to visit my boyfriend in three, except the bus won't go there. I wonder why. Huh, let's investigate that a little later, shall we? That teddy bear they sell over there. I heard it helps in battle. I don't know what they're talking about. It looks like a plain old teddy bear to me. So yeah, we can uh, come to this shop and we can buy a teddy bear or a cold remedy. Not going to really worry about the teddy bear right now. We'll get one for free in a little bit. And we got a shop here where we can buy some new equipment. Nothing really that great. We got a slingshot, which is a stronger weapon. But like I said before, slingshot aren't as great as actual character specific weapons uh, the bat I have right now only has a one in uh, only has a one in 16 chance of missing any slingshot or yo-yo has a three in 16 chance so even though it's stronger it misses more happy happy village is getting to be more more and more blue do you get it no I don't get it that would make more sense if I was actually there, and it'll make more sense to all of you once we're actually there. But just remember that attempt at a joke. He said something about Happy Happy Village being blue, which is supposed to sound depressed. And I guess it's supposed to be Happy Happy, but not so much now for some reason. Okay, so I just wanted to show off the department store and what you can get there. We're going to kind of ignore it and pass on for right now, though. If I had some connections, I could waltz right in, but I'm just a regular Joe. I love standing in a queue. I also love words that start with Q. Queen, quiet, quick. Okay, a yeah, queue as in waiting in a line, waiting to be dealt with, kind of like how my printer works. I don't know. That Another attempt at a joke. I'm starting a line here. I want a ticket for today's show, but I may not get it. Okay, how sad for you. These guys look interesting. We, that's right, we are the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. We're being cheated by this theater, and we're really deep in debt. We may be popular, but that girl who lives at the house with the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. Okay, everybody keeps talking about this preschool. Let's go check that out. And that's Berglund Park right there. We'll investigate that in a little bit. And here we go, Polestar. This is the Polestar Preschool. Paula isn't here. She suddenly left, and I don't know where she went. Well, Mr. T said some bad guys were following her. Ooh, sounds like sad music in here. When I grow up, I want to be just like Paula. Well, I wanted to play with Paula, but she's gone somewhere. Paula is like a mother to me. You may not be able to comprehend my emotions, but good music starting now. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. Whistle, whistle anywhere. It makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She has a guardian angel, it seems. So, you want to see Paula? Many come here to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches. So, are you from a TV station or what? No. To meet you or to not meet you. Oh, you uh, to meet you or not to meet you can only be decided by Paula. Paula has said that she would only meet with a boy named Ness. So you're Ness. You're the one that was in Paula's dream. You will save the world. Let me go call Paula. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry, could you come back later? Yeah, I'm just gonna go up into your daughter's room and raid her panty drawer. Okay, so we got a present box in here. Let's make some room real quick. And in there, we get a teddy bear. What the teddy bear pretty much does is it acts as a decoy in battle. Enemies will attack it instead of you. And it has a limited amount of HP. I actually think this one only has about 100, maybe 150. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to double check that. But yeah, it'll take battle It'll take battle damage for you. Uh, that prevents you from getting hit. Sometimes. Sometimes they'll notice you there. Oh, we got a new enemy right here. And this is the annoying old party man. And uh, human enemies that have been taken over by Gygus, for the most part, are pretty regular enemies. No particular weakness. You can take them out with pretty much anything. Uh, 
All right, everybody keeps talking about Berglund Park. Let's check it out. Berglund Park seems kind of dangerous, but there's some great stuff there. Indeed, we got lots of stuff that we can buy here. Uh, like this guy, for example. He sells condiments. Let's make some room. Hello, would you like to, some seasoning to add to your foods at mealtime? They're really quite miraculous. Whenever you eat something, the seasonings will sprinkle automatically. They come in these cute little packets and jars. What kind do you like? Uh, let's go with ketchup. Ketchup goes good on hamburgers. Do you want to buy something else? No. All right, let's show this off real quick. Um, so if you have a condiment in your inventory and you use a food item, a condiment will automatically be applied to it. Ness took the ketchup and used it on the hamburger. It was pretty good, and it could have numerous results. Like, uh, if it's a good combination, then it'll heal you for more than the regular amount that a hamburger would actually heal you for. But there's also bad combinations, and that can actually decrease the abilities of said heal healing item so it takes a little while playing around I'm sure there's FAQs on the internet that lets you know what condiments go with what healing item so you can look that up I own an antique shop no one is buying or selling anything so I was thinking of selling the for sale sign that sits in front of me it's only $98 please buy it okay why not if you want to sell something use this for sale sign customers will flock to you oh, let's check it out maybe I have a few things I want to sell and a customer's heading this way. That didn't take long. Why, hello, ma'am. I saw your sign, so I thought I'd stop by. What are you peddling? Uh, let's sell a hamburger. Hamburger? Hmm, how about $7? What's $7? Hell no. I'm just going to keep my burger. No. Let's see. Let's sell you something of value that I could probably get a lot of money for. How about a soundstone? You already have one. How the hell do you already have one? Well, if you have a soundstone, why the hell aren't you off trying to save the world from Gygus? You're an adult. Why must a child burden this heavy burdenous burden? Uh, no, you can go to hell. I reserve the right to refuse service to anyone. Anyone! Hey, man! You gotta expand your mind and use this stuff creatively. Come on, buy some of my junk. You don't call your product junk, man. Okay, so pretty much the only real thing worth buying here is the copper bracelet. And we'll equip that here, and our defense moves from 18 to 23. That's actually pretty good. And we'll sell them back the cheap bracelet. No, I think I'm pretty good. Uh, we got this guy here that sells eggs. Uh, she sells bananas. What the hell do you sell? No, I don't want a ruler. Okay, we want to make sure we're uh, good and healed up before approaching this guy up here. Uh, yeah, we're good. Because as soon as we approach him, he's going to jump off the roof. <laughs> Why don't we have a chat later after we've locked horns? This is Everdread. He's pretty tough, so we're going to not take any chances. We're going to use PSI rocking on him. Uh, outside of being able to hit you pretty hard, he can also steal stuff and knit his brow. So let's finish him off before he de decides to steal one of our valuable hamburgers that we've just been eating for no reason this entire episode. Oh, wow, you're really not being much of a threat, are you? Okay, we're out of psychic points uh, for rockin', so let's just bash him. Ow. Oh, see, he hit the teddy bear. This is actually turning out all right. He only attacked during one of his turns, kept knitting his brow the whole other time. That battle can actually be much harder than it actually just was right here. So, uh, yeah, don't let my experience with him just now fool you. And we're at level 13. IQ went up by one. That means HP only went up by three. But let's see what our PP did. It went only up by four. Oh, I wish I could make my PP grow faster. Yes, I am Everdread, boss of Berglund Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost, and nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in the peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. A chubby boy. Do -do 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 -do. They said that they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. All right, so we got to remember that. If we do save Paula, 
Come back here. Talk to Everdread. All right, looks like we got our work cut out for us. Paul is in some place called Peaceful Rest Valley. It can be pretty tough, so I think it would be a good idea right now since we're, uh, you know, a little low on psychic points. We didn't take too much damage from that battle, though the potential of taking a lot of damage is pretty high. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and stay here at the hotel. How much? Okay, good. I, I, I'm in pretty good shape. $50? Yeah, it gets more expensive as you progress through the game. Another psychic message. Ness, I, Paula, I am Paula. Can you hear me calling you? Help! Come and help me. Uh, I don't know where I am. I can hear water running in the distance. Ness, please help me. Okay, so that's a clue. Water running in the distance. Peaceful Rest Valley. How about reading the newspaper before you go? Here's this morning's Tucson Tribune headline. Ghosts found to inhabit Tunnel to Threed. Okay, well, we're not going to worry about that yet. All right, here's a quick way to make a little bit of money. Uh, you can only do this one time in the game after you sleep at the hotel here. Uh, once you do it, you can never do it again. What? So, what? Huh? Pardon? Jeez. Hmm? You're annoying. Dang me. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ha, ha. Yay, you. Later days, pal. Ha ha ha. It's so hot today. It rocks. It's so cold today. Wait, is it cold today? Oh, I, I never learned how to read. Oh, ho, ho. see ya. Here, get yourself a juice or something. Ka-ching. And we get $53 just for bugging him, just like the panhandlers next to my local gas station. All right. Uh, let's call mom. Is that you, Ness? You called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh yes, Tracy started to wor started working part time for a Scargo Express. Here, I'll let you talk to her and call me whenever you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. Hello, this is a Scargo Express. Oh, is that you, Ness? Big bro? It's me, Tracy. I'm working part time at a Scar for a Scargo Express. What can I do for you? And remember how Tracy at the beginning of the game, Ness's little sister, was able to store uh, items for us? Well, now she can do it through a delivery and pickup service called a Scargo Express. We can just call them up, and they'll charge us eighteen dollars to either pick up or drop off up to three items at the same time. All right, and I just called mom there. Uh, there's a condition that you can run into later on the game called ho homesickness, and uh, it's exclusive to Ness, and it can cause you to miss and all sorts of different items, and you interrupted me. Yeah, $18. And I can tell you what three things. All right, so uh, we're not going to need the bicycle anymore because we got that teddy bear following us. Uh, let's see. For sale sign, I don't plan on selling anything anytime soon. And since I know pretty much the layout of this game, uh, fair enough to where I don't necessarily need a map, I'll go ahead and uh, let them take the town map. All right. So yeah, there's a condition uh, called homesickness. It can cause Ness to do all sorts of different things in battle. Uh, most annoyingly, to constantly miss. And uh, there's a few ways to get rid of it. Uh, you can find a baby chick as an item later on in the game. You can do that uh, and look at it and it cures Ness of his homesickness for some reason. There's postcards which can cure his homesickness. The most effective way to cure it is by calling your mom. Now this happens completely at random and as you level up up, the chances of him getting homesick increases. It's completely random. He has like a, a 3 out of 256 chance of uh, getting homesick like after he passes by level 15. I think that's the way it works. There's FAQs on it. I'll probably uh, post something in the description or put up an annotation. But, you know, the more you level up, the more prone he is to getting homesickness. P -p Paula, where are you? It's time for a yummy piece of pie. Oh, looks like uh, Paula's dad is pretty frantic looking for her. So we're going to have to step up our game and get to Peaceful Rest Valley as fast as we can. But that's going to have to wait until next time. And until next time, thank you for watching that LP show. And have a one that is good.